Well, not all subjects are easy to talk about, especially some that really relate to different aspects of our health. The attentive, compassionate physicians and staff at Adult Pediatric Urology and Urogynecology understand that. And they're joining us this morning to get the conversation started. All three of them here. Good mornings, doctors Emily Keene, uh, Becky McCreary, and Amon Mahal. Thanks for coming in. Good to see you guys. We've got the whole team. We've got a yeah. big crew here of doctors. Yes, we yes, got a lot of knowledge absolutely. on this couch. Uh, one of the things we're talking about, because we've, we, you've been on the show, a couple of you have been on the show before, and uh, we've talked about the free men's health screenings and, and the ladies' nights, but today we want to take a little bit different uh, look into this, dive a little bit deeper into what the group specializes in. Can you give us a, kind of a brief overview of that? Well, we have uh, 10 physicians in our practice, three urogynecologists. We just um, had Dr. Mahal join us, so that brings us up to three. And then we have seven urologists. The urologists specialize in cancer, bladder health, uh, prostate issues. As urogynecologists, we focus on pelvic floor problems in women. And how long have you been in practice? How uh, long the has practice, the group been together? Practice was started in 1994 by Dr. D'Souza. 1994, yeah. so and Dr. Mahal, years. Like, so yeah, a, a while. And, and Dr. Mahal, you just kind of recently got to the area. How long have you been here? And, uh, where were you previously? What brought you to the Omaha area? Sure, so I trained at Creighton University about uh, over 10 years ago mm -hmm. now and just fell in love with Omaha and fell in love with my wife who's from Omaha. So <laughs> there, there, there we kind of always knew we were coming back this way. Four <laughs> reasons here. Yeah, but uh, finished out my training recently at Stanford in California and then came right on back home. And you mentioned uh, pelvic floor disorders. Mm -hmm. That's one of the yeah. things you guys specialize in. And uh, Dr. Mahal, that's one of the things you specialize in as well? Certainly, we look at both urinary incontinence, pelvic organ prolapse, really anything that troubles a woman in the pelvic area is something we can at least talk about, have a conversation, and probably point you in the direction of a treatment. So what kind of treatment and solutions do you provide for that? So, go well, ahead. Yeah, we, um, the various things that we see, including um, stress incontinence, which is leakage um, with cough, laugh, sneeze, exercise, I'd say the majority of women who've had children um, experience that. Um, jumping on a trampoline, that's, mm -hmm. that's a no-no for a lot of us. Um, but uh, stressed urinary incontinence, overactive bladder, that's when, um, when you have an urge to go to the bathroom and you can't defer it. Um, get up multiple times from a movie, or a lot of my patients will say, I know where every bathroom is in Omaha. They mm -hmm. leave to go to the right. bathroom before yeah. they leave for work, when they go to work, and then multiple times throughout the day. Um, the other um, area that we specialize is in pelvic organ prolapse. So that is when the pelvic structures come out through the vaginal area. Mm -hmm. And is that, I think you partly said it's due to childbirth. Um, we have kids, uh, we hang out with other married people that have kids mm -hmm. and women that have mm -hmm. had kids. And so I hear this as a <laughs> common thing amongst mm -hmm. women that have had kids before. Mm -hmm. So one of the things, you have an approach to um, the, the, the pelvic organ prolapse surgery uh, because there's kind of a newer approach and there's more of a traditional approach. Well, I guess, what's your stance on that? Well, I think um, traditionally for decades and decades, the surgery has been done without any incisions in the abdomen and done with just sutures used uh, through the vagina. Um, more durable approaches have been invented that use kind of more of a, a mesh-based um, approach that will help support those organs for maybe a longer period of time. And the nice thing about our group is we offer all of those options and we can talk about what might be best for the individual patient. Now, what, what about recovery time if you have these treatments? Is it one treatment for one and then recovery time as well? What's the, the downtime like? It depends on the procedure. Mm -hmm. um, we mentioned stress urinary incontinence and for most women that is curable um, with a short 10 minute outpatient procedure. And many women go to work the next day. 10 minutes, that's that. great. 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, other more invasive procedures or, or more complex repairs, um, they require a, a usually a six week healing period. That doesn't mean they're off work for six weeks. Right. Um, usually women can go back to work um, at about two weeks or three weeks. Mm -hmm. But the good thing, no, there are options out there. And does insurance cover some of this stuff? Or what, what, how does insurance look at that? Insurance does cover most of it. Um, patients, we, we always submit a prior authorization, but it is generally covered by insurance. Mm -hmm. oh, great. Well, there's so many options for women's health in Omaha. I mean, there really are. So what makes your practice unique and why should people come to you? Well, we, um, Becky and I have been working together for many years and we are so proud to um, bring Dr. Mahal on. Um, we have a collective, we have a collective approach um, to patients. We discuss um, our patients together. We talk about um, all the options for our patients. Um, and 
one thing that I think that we do um, is, as you mentioned, these subjects are very sensitive and private. And so we work very closely with our patients to make them feel as comfortable as possible and to fully discuss all of their options, whether that be conservative or surgical. Yeah, well, we talk about them here on the, on the Morning Blend. We talk about some of these issues that yeah. some mm -hmm. people are consider private, but uh, specifically with the pelvic organ prolapse surgery, um, what, what's the feedback that you get from patients after they've had this? Because I know a lot of women um, have dealt with this since childbirth, or in some cases, not even childbirth, but I guess, mm -hmm. yeah. what is their reaction after they have the surgery? I, th I think most people wish they would have done it sooner. Right. Oftentimes mm -hmm. they're like, why did I wait so long? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it is opening up the conversation. People are afraid to, to talk to anybody about it because they assume that they're the only ones who have it, and so then that delays them getting to a healthcare provider for, for these problems. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I think the vast, vast majority of people are very happy they had it done. Yeah. Right. Well, they're not alone. I know a lot of, yeah. a lot of mm -hmm. mothers out there that have had the conversation together. Mm -hmm. uh, best way to get, get the conversation started, I know the website's at the bottom of the screen right there, adultpediatricuro.com, but what, what's the best way to get this going if you're a woman out there watching right now? Well, I think you don't need a referral from your primary provider. You can just call that number on the bottom of the screen and we'll get you in with who's appropriate for your conditions and we're happy to at least talk to you about those things. Great. Yeah, get well, the conversation thank you. Welcome started. to Omaha. Hope thank you're you enjoying so your Thanks time here. Welcome back. I guess you were here before. Again, 402-810-7399 or adultpediatricuro.com. Yeah, you got two Great. locations, 107th and Pacific and then uh, 34th and Broadway in Council Bluffs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fantastic. Right. Well, thanks so much. Thanks for coming for on this morning. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Uh, there's a lot